What's the matter now? My ears are closing up. I get it from the sinuses. I think it's from all the dust in here. I'm allergic to dust, you know. Huh. Uh, what are you doing? I'm not going to jump. I'm going to breathe, okay? Oh. Oh, that's better. You know, I used to drive Francis crazy with all my allergies. Hmm. I'm allergic to her perfume. For a while there, the only thing she could wear was my aftershave lotion. What are you doing? My ears are closing up, remember? Uh -uh. I'm doing the thing I do, you create pressure inside, it opens up. I used to drive Francis crazy too. Did it open up? Yeah, a little bit. I don't think I scared my throat. Felix, why don't you just leave yourself alone and don't tinker. Just... Can't help it, Oscar. Okay, I drive everybody crazy. You know a marriage counselor wants to kick me out of his office? No. You want to know what he wrote on my chart? What? A lunatic. Mm. I'm impossible to be married to. I don't blame her. It takes two to make a rotten marriage. You don't know what I was like at home, okay? I brought home a book and had her write down every single penny we ever spent. 38 cents for cigarettes, 10 cents for paper. And then we got in a huge fight because I said she forgot to write down how much the book cost. Who can live with anybody like that, Oscar? Hmm. An accountant. I don't know, Felix, like, like, no one's perfect. We all have faults. Faults? Are you, faults? You do realize I had a maid come to clean three times a week. And on the day she didn't come, Francis did the cleaning. And then at the end of the day, after they both cleaned, I would go back through and I'd clean the entire place again. I can't help it, Oscar. I like things clean. Blame it on my mother. I was toilet trained at five months old. How do you remember things like that? I allow stuff to marriage. Okay. Nothing was ever right. I used to recook everything. The minute Francis would leave the room, I'd, I'd either add salt or, or pepper or something. It's not that I didn't trust her, just I was the better cook. I cooked myself out of a marriage. Mm -hmm. God damn hey! idiot! Don't hate yourself. You're gonna give yourself a headache. I can't help it, Oscar. I hate me. Oh boy. Do I hate me? Listen, I don't hate you. You love you. You just think people don't have problems like you. Don't give me that analyst, Jess. I happen to know for a fact, Oscar, that I hate my guts. Okay? Come on, Felix. I've never seen someone so much in love as you. But you're my friend. I am your friend. That's why I can talk to you like this. Then help me. How can I help you? I can't even help myself. You think you're impossible to live with? Blanche used to say, what time do you want to have dinner? And I'd say, I don't know, I, I'm not hungry. And then I would wake up at three o'clock in the morning. And I would wake her up and I'd say, now. Like, I used to be the highest paid sports writer in the East. If we only save Eight and a half dollars. And pennies. Like, I'm never home. I gamble. I, I burn cigar holes in the furniture. Like, I drink like a fish. And I lie to her every chance I get. You want to something else? On our 10th wedding anniversary, I took her to the New York Rangers Detroit Red Wings game. Where she got hit with a puck. I still don't understand why she wanted to leave. That's how impossible I am. Yeah, but, but I'm not like you, Oscar, okay? I couldn't take it living all alone. I mean, what am I gonna do for work? They've gotta fire me. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> how am I gonna make a living? You'll go out on the corner of the street and you'll 
cry. <laughs> and they'll throw nickels at you. <laughs> Come on, Felix. You'll work. You'll work. Hey, you think I ought to call Francis? What for? To talk it out again. Oh, you talked it out. There's no more words in your entire marriage. Like, what are you going to face up to? I can't help it, officer. I don't know what I'm going to do, okay? Listen, this is what you're going to do. You're going to uh, stay here, and in the morning, you're going to get your clothes, you let your toothbrush, and you're going to move in with me. No, I appreciate the offer, Oscar, but this is your place. I, I don't want to get in the way. There's eight rooms here. We can go an entire year without seeing each other. Like, don't you understand? Like, I want you to move in with me. 